All right, you probably know that Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile are some of the biggest wireless companies out there. If you've seen even a sliver of their ads, you'll know they go head to toe fighting each other and aggressively attempting to steal each other's customers. But which one is actually the best? To find out, I chose seven categories to see who wins each and ultimately decide which company gives you the best experience. So let's start with value. See, I rarely recommend going with one of the three big carriers directly when there are just far better options that are more affordable, but it's good to see at least some specials packed into your price. I appreciate how Verizon is now giving their customers the truly unlimited treatment these days with unlimited priority data and loads of perks, but their pricing is by far the highest, especially with extra fees they've added recently for the raising prices. So between AT&T and T-Mobile, I'm gonna say it's a draw. Both have unique selling points of their own with AT&T going down the route of customizable family plans and special offers, and T-Mobile choosing to give extras and bonuses for travel and streaming. Both AT&T and T-Mobile will give you a good selection of stuff and beat Verizon in value. But the other side of that coin is options. Consumers typically like having options when choosing something to buy, so which company gives you the best set of choices? Most of Verizon's lower tier plans suck since they mostly target the far upper end of the market, T-Mobile gives the illusion of value but really only makes sense for their higher end Magenta series services, and their Metro sub brand is also behind. So I'm giving this trophy to AT&T. They've got easily the best first party directly owned prepaid service with AT&T prepaid. They're offering customers 16 gigs of data for just 25 bucks, and AT&T's Cricket brand is actually also quite underrated. Cricket more for 55 bucks with taxes and fees included gives you unlimited priority data, hotspot, and free ad support to HBO Max that new customers can still get. Now onto networks, and these are kind of tricky to make a finalized decision on just considering the number of variables that have to be considered. Coverage is a big one, but basically every network now has great coverage. The difference in a covered area between all three networks is nearly negligible, so I'm focusing on performance and reliability, which I see as more important. Since both new 5G and Experience LTE are very in 2022, I'm going to award both the best 5G network and the best LTE network to make things fair. For 5G, it's really between Verizon and T-Mobile. AT&T's got some 5G, but they're not taking it as seriously as the other two at the moment. As for T-Mobile, they're just going for quantity and less quality. Most of T-Mobile's 5G footprint is garbage low band, albeit with expanding mid band. In my opinion, the best performance and reliability win, and in that department, Verizon excels. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband is the fastest in the world on millimeter wave, which is no longer finicky and fragile like a couple years ago. Their C band is also solid, and even their mid band on N66 is really fast. Look at these results I got testing N66 through a 15 megahertz channel. 15 megahertz. Verizon dominates network performance on 5G, making them the current leader of the 5G race. But LTE is important too. Most people sadly have LTE only phones, and 5G phones have only recently surpassed them in sales. Given its dominant position in LTE networks, AT&T reigns supreme in this department. AT&T's LTE is everything you'd want out of a tried true network. Fast, stable, reliable, and secure. AT&T puts quite an emphasis on security, which I have to respect. AT&T easily tops the LTE charts. Now let's move on to customer support. And to do this, I'm gonna call all three carriers customer service, ask them a very simple question about the services they offer, and see if they can solve my problem and how long it takes. I know the customer service is sometimes subjective. Some people have had better experiences than others, but I'm just gonna do this very quick rough test to decide the winner of this category. So let's start with Verizon. Welcome to Verizon. I'm just looking to switch to Verizon. I I'm just curious, I wanna know like what it would cost and everything. So I can help you with that there. You're switching from. Um, I currently use T-Mobile. Basically, we have a, a great promotion running right now. A couple of different promotions you can qualify for. Is that uh, if you want to bring your own device. Okay, so if you do auto pay, the unlimited talk, text, and data plan with us with 50 gigs of high-speed data and mobile hotspot is with auto pay is $80 a month. Bring your own device. You can get a $500 gift card. Ooh. Then you'll put the... Uh, you'll put yeah, thank you very much for like, you know, telling me kind of what you offer and everything. Well, that was pretty good. So it only took about five and a half minutes. The guy gave me information about, you know, the plans they had. I honestly really like that experience. Verizon's getting a pretty high rating for me. I'd say four out of five stars. All right, next up, AT&T. Thank you for calling AT&T about your wireless service. For help, for help, for help. Internet, you can talk to the mail system. It's about what we're going to do. What we're going to do. So I'm just looking like for information about AT&T phone service. Uh, I'd like to keep my current. I'd like to keep my current phone if I could. I'm actually I'm from the business All right, thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. All right, so we gotta call a different number. All right, finally let's do T-Mobile. T-Mobile. I'm just looking to switch to T-Mobile. What kinds of services and like deals do you have? I will definitely be happy to go over what kind of plans and options and different things like that that we have. I'll just ask some questions about your current Verizon services and everything. One line of service, if you do automatic payment and where we just deduct out of a card or a bank account every month is 70, um, gives you unlimited talk, text, and data. 
five gigabytes of high-speed hotspot. That sounds honestly really good. Thank you so much for giving me all this information. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep. Have a good rest of your week. You too. Well, T-Mobile was also good, just like Verizon. I'd say I'm going to give T-Mobile also four stars, just like Verizon. The support rep was very helpful. He, he really cut to the chase. He gave me all the information right then and there. And so I'm going to have to tie Verizon and T-Mobile in terms of customer service because both were really solid. AT&T could use an improvement. All right, compatibility is next up on the list where we're basically looking at which providers give you the best phone selection. Right off the bat, we're axing Verizon from this because their network requires every device model connected to be certified by them, leading some devices to not work out. Plus, many of the network bands they use are not shared by other networks internationally. So if you just buy some international unlocked phone from Amazon or eBay, you may well find it not working on Verizon. AT&T and T-Mobile tie for compatibility, with many of their network bands shared by other networks globally and no stupid device certification process. If you want to bring your Xiaomi or Oppo or Nut Pro 2, you can on AT&T or T-Mobile. To round this off, let's talk ecosystems. You're probably in one or a couple of ecosystems for your tech products. You may choose Apple if you're all an iPhone or Google or Samsung, depending on your personal preferences. All three of these companies, among many others, make a family of products and services that work great together. And it's also important to get that with the services that connect these tech items. It's convenient and straightforward when all your phone, TV, internet, and 5G connected poop tracker can all be under one bill. It's more convenient when everything's from one provider. So in this department, I'm easily giving AT&T the win. Verizon and T-Mobile have these other services as well, but if you have AT&T fiber internet like I do, you just know it's the gold standard of Wi-Fi, crushing the cheap jump that T-Mobile touts. AT&T has been doing a wide range of telecom services for hundreds of years, so they've got the experience, they've got the resources, they've got the budget, and they've got the innovation. If you want an ecosystem of connected services, AT&T is easily the one-stop shop for you. So with all of that, here's our scoreboard. Verizon's in last with just two points, T-Mobile's slightly ahead of them in second place with three points, and AT&T is finishing first with five points. However, this does not mean AT&T is the perfect carrier for everyone. If you value the very best over the phone support, you'll want to go red or pink. Rather than declaring AT&T the all-time winner, use this video to decide what's most important to you and which carriers are best for those things. Not everyone needs the best of the big carriers either, and you can save big by going with a smaller carrier like Mint Mobile or US Mobile that uses one of the big three networks and offers cheaper service. If you're looking for some of the best unlimited data plans on the market, definitely be sure to check out this video up top. And with that, I'm Max. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.